Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin and several different altcoins that I have been trading today. So I hope that you take something from this video educationally and you enjoy it. So it's going to be a bit of a quicker one than normal because I am actually in several trades right now uh, across several different markets as well. <laughs> um, so it's going to be yeah, a bit of a quick one but I hope you enjoy it. So Bitcoin, as mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, we obviously had never lost lower support on Bitcoin. Lower support being that 3,640, resistance being 3,895. And we obviously have fell down outside of the parallel channel and then wicked above the parallel channel again that I was trading over the last week. But really, Bitcoin still remains within this range of support and resistance. No breaks of overall support and resistance yet Okay, for Bitcoin. So while still in this range, not looking to take any longer term swing trades okay we're still looking up for the resistance of around three four thousand basically and lower support of around three thousand five hundred and fifty okay and still you know may maintaining in this range of now lower support and higher resistance you know where's the break going to come uh if we take notice of litecoin then up likely going to be upwards okay litecoin has been the lead ball and was lead ball again today OK, obviously breaking up massively uh, and then the, the rest of the space following. OK, this was a massive move up and the levels that I got here. OK, the levels that I can show for you here of why Litecoin ma smashed up so much taking from this low. OK, the low on the what was that about 24th of February up to the high on the 9th, 2nd of March. Sorry taking our Fibonacci retracements, okay, taking our Fibonacci retracements from this low up to that high. And what do you see? You see Litecoin coming down to the golden pocket absolutely perfectly. Golden pocket touch with a, you know, close back above it. Absolutely bullish signal right there. And uh, what do you get on Litecoin? You get a, a, fo a following from this golden pocket up to the top where we are now of 20%, okay, with a higher upper wick. So that's noticeable, uh, taking out the highs with a wick. So this is now a, a bearish sign. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a trade from a golden pocket right there if you've ever seen one. Okay, so Litecoin being the lead ball with those, you know, bullish signs breaking up from the golden pocket there. Very, very bullish, smashing through $50 uh, resistance, okay. Uh, so then ontology, another golden pocket trade right here. <laughs> so this was taken from the retracement down from the low on the 6th of February up to the high on the 24th of February. You, we all know the move of this. OK, you know, a massive move, like a, a, a nearly 150 percent move. Uh, absolutely crazy. But what do we have? We have the retracement of this coming down, coming down, coming down and finding support yet again on the 618. OK. That was this morning, okay, so, so this morning uh, finding support off of the 618 and then obviously in total seeing a 20% bounce. So that's uh, big moves just playing Golden Pocket 618 Fibonacci levels, okay, from, from cryptocurrency. This is one that I took. I was in here and I closed out on this wick below the 0 0.5 because for me, this was old support that I envisioned uh, turning to, into resistance. So I took profits on my long at this point. OK, obviously we had continuation up from there. Very great. But I do believe that we are now reaching another level of resistance on ontology. OK, which is obviously this 382 region. Um, and I will take a longs again if we break through this. But for the time being, I'm you know playing ontology more cautiously because of how much of a run up it's had. OK, these are all coins that I mentioned this morning, by the way, um, saying that. So this was this morning before any of these breaks had really took off. OK, this was still while it was only up half of what it was on there here. So ontology with a lovely bounce on the 618 going to continue trading BNB, which is absolutely crazy bullish coin right now. Neo and EOS. And this was again EOS before it took off. Uh, why are EOS brilliant to trade? Are you talking about short opportunities? Nah, mate, looking for longs. Uh, obviously looking for longs and then the coin moves up another like blending 20%. Absolutely lovely trade this was. OK, uh, but again, this is a, a coin which is now hitting a strong resistance. If we zoom out here to the four hour, OK, you're going to see that it is running into this like cluster of resistance. And this has been a strong move up to date. So it's another one that I've closed out because you see obviously hitting the 236 and also this resistance support, you know, potentially flipping into resistance. But again, from the bottom today, that was a another 20% move up. So every coin that I was trading, this was before the moves happened. OK, um, obviously have seen very yeah lovely moves up. <laughs> another 618 example that I can show you is XLM. Uh, so here we go on the XLM chart, price coming down, where did it find support, the golden pocket before bouncing up, um, and fair, why do I have this here? Oh, because it gave back the whole move. Okay, so this was just a really bearish of giving the whole move. This is something that I covered earlier, 
where this support you see how this support you know hold it for support you lose support it flips to resistance and then you get the move down that's a really bearish sign when that happens uh, but yeah that was uh fair i'm not sure why i had that because i wasn't even going to cover it but that was just a a support which uh, old resistance to flip that flip to support that when broken was acted as resistance and you get a strong move down um if i could have shorted this this would have i would have shorted it but uh, you can't short binance uh, unfortunately um but yeah that was my day of trading um I took one loss on, uh, uh, I did take a loss today on an Ethereum short, so I didn't win every single trade today. Uh, I did take a loss on Ethereum, trying to short that from $136. Uh, obviously, it got up to around $138. Um, but yeah, so I did take a loss on, on, on Ethereum, but well, well and truly covered by my wins across all the other altcoins. So it was a very successful day of trading again, but I don't want you to get the impression that I don't lose, um, because I did lose an, a, a trade on Ethereum. So, um, yeah, there was a losing trade in there. Um, but yeah, the rest of them very good. And now my main one that I want to be getting into sculpting again is ontology. Um, after, you know, breaking through here, I kept 50% of my position taking profits at this level. Obviously then we came down and went back through it. And I'm, and I'm going to close out the rest of when we hit the 382 here. Or alternatively, I'll add back on this level, which was for me the resistance of uh, 085. If we come back to here, you know, I will take another uh, long on this coin. Okay. Okay. You see this is around the 0 0.5 level. Also the 382, to be honest, the 382, just seeing this live with you all, this 382 level is really, really nice uh, support. But this is a coin that I will be sculpting. Yet. So this is one that I play really in the moment, sculpting ontology, uh, rather than swing trades at the moment. Uh, just, just literally sculpting off of like really key levels. Okay, uh, but yeah, Litecoin ending with this bearish wick. Obviously, how much of a wick is this down at the moment? About 2% down. Um, so not a massive wick, but this is bearish price action where you move across above the high with a wick and then come back and close below the high. Um, so yeah, that, that's bearish short term, but don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean the, the move could potentially be over, but that is a bearish sign. Okay, obviously still fighting with this resistance, but um, yeah, that was... Uh, decent day of trading from Fibonacci's um and what I will leave you with all at the end what was I what was I gonna I was gonna cover a few things I have like a few minutes here that I want to go over um yeah that was it ah this was it I was going to show you all about this um this trade that I posted here on Forex if because uh, I know I keep on having people message me about Forex trading so I decided to do a Forex post for you all so if you're interested in trading the British, British pound against Swiss franc I see a really really big opportunity so I'll leave this in the description if you're interested in reading up a write-up that I've done today about trading the British pair the British, pair, the, uh, British pound against the Swiss franc because um, I do see a really really big opportunity if you're into Forex here okay and it's basically just waiting for this support to go down or this resistance to go down and i see then a big move up to the next resistance or support but i've highlighted it in the here um so i'm not going to uh, read it out but i'll leave it in the description if you're interested in uh that forex trade because i'm already in it i bet it's a nice one um yeah so i'm gonna leave it there oh yeah this was one where i shill myself yesterday <laughs> Because this was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant um, trade that I'd done on my average students group saying buy up to the EMA, this is on Ethereum, saying buy, on, buy up to the exponential moving average resistance, e.g. I would be looking up to $130 short term plus 26 exponential moving average. Obviously, while the price was down at 128 saying buy up to 130 plus 26 EMA, what happened? Price obviously came up. Where did it hit? It $130, 26 and at 20 cent and the 26 exponential moving moving average exactly so this was an absolutely perfect call where you'd be longing up to there and then shorting back down to this old resistance you know obviously it did flip into support of 128 dollars 128 dollars and then we've obviously moved up today to around 138 so uh yeah that was a brilliant call by me yesterday um on the average students group so shilling myself there <laughs> but yeah i hope you all uh, have a brilliant time i'm going to go back to trading all this now um so yeah a bit of a quicker one today but i hope you've enjoyed it and I will, uh, yeah, update you all uh, with uh, some more trades that I've taken tomorrow and the theory behind them. Um, so, yeah, hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you around. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>